What's going on guys, it's Mesma here and welcome to my annual video that I do on the latest Call of Duty and opening your NAT type. So you can see down the bottom left here we have the NAT type here showing moderate. So we want to try and change that to uh, something better than what you've got. So your one may not be moderate, um, your one might be strict or moderate. Um, if you're already open, uh, you're sweet. You don't have to do anything um, other than make sure your internet speed is adequate for playing this game. Um, so yeah, other than that, basically, um, just follow this uh, if you have a strict or a moderate um, or closed NAT type. A closed NAT type is the worst out of all of them. Um, strict is a next level above that. You'll be able to connect to people that uh, this is on the multiplayer. You'll be able to connect to people with strict uh, NAT types as well. Uh, moderate, you'll be able to connect with uh, strict and moderate, and then uh, everything above that is fine, which is open. Um, so what we want to try and do is get you a step above what you've got. So basically, just follow exactly what I do on, on the desktop here. You just need to open File Explorer. You can see I've already got it open and, and pre-planned. I'm also doing this video a bit early in advance so we can see uh, just exactly what to do. Um, before you actually you know get into the game and this same goes with Xbox and PlayStation you have to do it this way on a computer um, I'll show you a different method if you if you don't have a, a Windows environment um, like a, a Windows PC or a laptop or something if you have your phone I'll show you another way how to do that later but basically we'll just do part one first so open file explorer you need to go into network and then find your router here. So this is my router. Then what you need to do is right click and go properties. Now, if this doesn't show up for you, there might be a little message up the top here saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, network uh, sharing is turned off. Turn that on um, and then it might pop up. You can press F5 on the keyboard and it will refresh this page. Um, if you haven't restarted your computer in a while, do that just so it gets all of the fresh settings from your router. Um, sometimes you may even need to restart your router. Don't reset it. Reset it will you'll lose all of your stuff on the router. Just restart it. So turn it off and on. Um, usually that just clears all of its memory um, and it will start fresh. So now that you've done that, and you can see this here, you need to right click and go properties. So if you can't see properties like this and it doesn't open this page, just wait and uh, do the, the second part of this video because that will help you do that now. So you need to open this and go settings. Then you can see here we have this advanced settings page that's opened up. Now this is where we'll actually add the, uh, the server settings here. So you can see, sorry this is on another monitor over here. So the, the description of the service you can actually make whatever you like. Let's call it uh, COD Modern Warfare. Now, don't get this confused if you're using like Modern Warfare 2 or Remastered. Um, it may be just good to put 2019 so you know that that's this year's Call of Duty because if, uh, if you need to play any of those other games and you need to open your NAT type, you don't want to get it confused uh, when it comes to changing them later on. So yeah, you can basically just uh, leave this for now, but you want to have this open. You then need to go down to this Windows icon here uh, and right-click then you might have PowerShell or you might have Command Prompt. Now, uh, they both work the same. PowerShell is a bit more advanced for Windows. Um, so it just allows you to run different kind of scripts, but that's a whole different topic. Basically, what you want to do is open either one of these. Let's do the most basic one, um, just so you don't get confused. Now I'll bring this over here. So you can see it's got here PC user um, is me, so Mitch. Um, what you need to type in is IP config. That will then show you a few separate things. It will show you the IPv4 address. So this is what you need. You need this IPv4 address. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you're in Windows 10, um, you can actually highlight all of that and just click uh, Control C um, on the keyboard. And that will copy uh, whatever you've just selected. You can now minimize this, you'll need to come back to that later. But then you can go into these uh, settings here that we had before. Now you can see it asks for name or IP address of the computer hosting this service. 
So that's where we paste our IPv4 address. So this is our IP for this machine. So this will be similar to yours. Yours, yours might be. Yours will start with these numbers, no matter what. It will always be 192.168, um, unless you're with a different provider that uses 10. Um, usually it will always be 192.168. Now these last two can change, but as long as you've copied your IPv4 address, don't use mine, make sure you copy yours and paste it into that spot. That will be your one. Then you need to obviously name it. So I'm just going to name it Modern Warfare 2019. Now then you need to open Google Chrome and you can actually just uh, follow this by Call of Duty Modern Warfare ports into Google and then just go to the Activision page here which actually has all of their games and what ports they use. Now I've been doing this a long time they always use 3074 I can tell you that before I've even opened it before I've even seen it they'll always use 3074 and that's for pretty much uh, most of the the consoles and whatnot so you can see we have two different uh, titles here. We have TCP and UDP. Now you, you can see there's a different range of all of these. So we need to keep this page open because you'll need to do this if you can't do it on a Windows computer. But basically, you should just be able to type in 3074 into this here again. So 3074 and the same in the bottom 3074 now you can actually see then it asks for TCP or UDP in this particular thing here so 3074 is actually both so we do need to add this twice so you hit OK and then you just go add and you do the exact same thing over again uh, you can keep calling it COD Modern Warfare 2019 it's not going to conflict with another one it'll be fine 3074, 3074, and then you do UDP this time. So then you hit OK. Now they're added. Now you, it's best to make sure your game is closed while doing this because if the game is open, the settings won't really apply to the game until it's closed down and opened again. So just make sure you have the game closed. Do all this. Um, you know, even restart your computer after you've done it just to make sure that everything is starting from fresh and then see how you go. Now, you can just add 3074 and see if that makes any difference. Unfortunately, if it doesn't make a difference, you might need to add all these other ports, which is a lot. Like that, that's a range, that's a range is what that's called, where it has the hyphen in the middle. It's, it's saying from 27014 to 27050. Now that's a lot of numbers to add manually over and over again. You're going to hit add, go 2075, blah, 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 and just keep going on and on and on until you get to 50. And then you need to do the same for UDP. So it's that's a pretty crazy way to do it. Um, hopefully 3074 works for you, um, and it's just, it's just fine. But if it doesn't, the second part coming up now, this will help you if you need to add more ports um, in future. But basically, this way, if this way started to work for you, you just need to hit OK. That will apply those settings to the router immediately. But like I said, your PC, it's good to have the game closed and restart the game just so you're, you're, you know, you're clean, you're restarting from fresh settings and whatnot. So yeah. But basically, uh, you can close this now. We're done with that part of the video. The second part is you need to log into your router. So you can actually go to network... Uh, excuse me, uh, where this is. Um, so, basically, uh, you can see it's disappeared, but you just go right-click again, view de device web page, or you can double-click, and it will open this page for you. So I've already got mine open here. But basically, then you need to go to uh, forwarding. So yours might be different to this. It's different per router. But usually it's in forwarding somewhere, or maybe in LAN uh, might be your, your other... Uh, settings or network um, but look for forwarding and then you need to find UPNP so you can see these have already popped up on this because I manually added that through the Windows method now this is another way that you can add it okay so the way you'll have to do this if mine's very different to yours yours might be able to let you add it into UPNP here 
but mine I actually need to go into virtual server and add new ones from here which kinda sucks I don't really like uh, adding as a virtual server it's not technically a virtual server um, it's more just opening uh, ports that uh, traffic flows through from Activision to your router and to your computer and then back so basically now, oh, actually, something I better cut in with here. If you're on Xbox and PlayStation, this is where you actually need to do a few separate things. So you need to find your IP of your um, of your actual console. So that's going to be in settings and in network. And you need to then go uh, into somewhere where it shows like about your network and then find your IP address. It'll be the same as uh, the one I showed earlier where it's uh, 192.168.0 something or dot one or whatever but uh, you need to find the one that's on your Xbox so it won't be your computer one um, because you're playing on the console so you need to actually open the port to the console so um, in my previous videos I do have a walkthrough video of how to find uh, that on an Xbox and a PlayStation 4 um, so hopefully if you go back and check them uh, that should still be there um, if not uh, there, there should be a way to find it um, with uh, possibly other YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, if not, go back to my uh, previous open NAT type videos and I do have them on the Xbox and uh, PlayStation um, videos back there. So then you can check those out. But from now, I will use my, uh, my computer IP. Just uh, make sure you realize that this IP has to be your one for your device. So... Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we need to add this to our virtual server. It's not a virtual server, like we explained. but we So we just need to add new. So I'll go here. The service port. Now, uh, this is uh, the actual port that we want to open. So these are the service ports here. So this is where you can actually... Uh, know change and and keep this so if it's empty internal pool, internal port equals the service port so um, these two will basically be the same so this should be where we can actually add this number now so we should, should be able to copy paste yeah so that will should leave us uh, a range now of two zero uh, two seven zero one four to two seven zero five zero we then need to get our IP address so remember this is your Xbox PlayStation or computer so once again I found it by going here so I'm gonna put mine in there um, make sure you don't have any spaces or anything the internal port like I said it's the same as this we need this as the as the same protocol uh, all will do both so this is where you can actually add both at the same time like so you don't actually uh, you know need to specify and go, oh, I need to do one for TCP and one for UDP. If you do all, it'll do both simultaneously. Now, you can leave this as, as is, just uh, don't worry about it. Usually, it's probably HTTP um, as the method, but then you can see that has already changed it back. So, once again, um, you need to leave that blank, because otherwise it will change it. So, leave the service port uh, so this is this is just a quick way if you wanted to do that. So yeah, leave that as is. Actually assign the service port, which is this number here. Then just go save. That should that saved it now. Um, and in UPnP it won't show us that, but it has technically made a virtual server, which uh, should have the same effect. Um, now this IP address is allowing these ports to go through and the status is enabled. So hopefully this helps you. If it doesn't, I'm not too sure what else you can really do. Um, you could possibly talk to your ISP um, and let them know, so your internet provider, whichever uh, tel telecommunications company you are through. In Australia, most of them are Optus, Telstra, Vodafone, um, and a few other little companies. Um, so your one might be like... Uh, um, uh, Vodafone, I believe, is in the States um, and possibly in the UK. Um, so if you're watching this from uh, your country, it's whoever actually gives you your internet, so your telecommunications company. Um, you could talk to them about your uh, NAT type being strict um, and you want it to be open. They might be able to help you. Um, if not, 
possibly a new router could help um, but yeah I'm not too sure but hopefully this helps you guys um, and hopefully you can uh, get on to actually playing the game uh, the way it's intended. So yeah, um, once again, this is Mesma, and make sure you subscribe, um, stay stay uh, up to date with the channel, because um, yeah, I'll be releasing a fair few videos on, uh, on the upcoming Modern Warfare when it comes out. So yeah, um, once again, have a good one, and see you later.